Good morning, everyone. Today we are at the uh, ADB PRC TA Corporation and Best TA Award Ceremony, where ADB will present a series of awards to the best TAs. These, inv these awards involve t Best TA Performance, Best TA Impact, and Best TA Dissemination. And we will also hear a series of um, sharings from the respective TA awardees. We will also talk to uh, the organizer, Mazia, about this uh, workshop later on. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of ADB, a warm welcome to all of you. Good practices could be summarized and shared. A stronger knowledge plus plus partnership with the PRC. As Yolanda say, I'm Marcia and I'm going to chair the awards ceremony. <laughs>项目形成了高质量的研究成果和知识产品。What do you think are some of the highlights of this um, ceremony today? Okay, um, I think I would like to highlight three, three points. Uh, the first is that this was uh, the first uh, meeting uh, on TA cooperation for ADB PRC partnership uh, since the approval of the new CPS. And uh, second, um, the, the dialogue today uh, helped us agree on some uh, um, principle for the future of our TA operation in China. Um, we agreed uh, with the with the MOF and with the, the executive agency at the provincial level that we need more innovation. We need uh, quality policy advice. Uh, we need to strengthen the development impact of our TA projects. And we need to help sharing the best practices from uh, China uh, to other countries that are facing similar challenges. And my third and last point is that we, we really learn uh, from uh, each other by listening to the experience of the EA of the uh, awardees um, that won the TA Best Awards. Uh, and um, we learn how to implement uh, TAs so that they are successful, both in uh, design, implementation, impact, dissemination. I think there are two lessons that are worth sharing, the extensive communication, and the experience from site investigation. On communications, Director General Mao and Deputy Director General Yu of Jiangxi Agriculture and Rural Affairs, the implementing agency, conducted in-depth discussions with experts on numerous occasions. We also organized discussions with directors and deputy directors from eight related divisions. In addition, we met with experts from the Jiangxi Academy of Social Sciences and Agricultural Sciences. We also had frank and valuable discussions with ADB experts. I hosted five meetings and seminars and made several suggestions which were taken into account by ADB experts. The other lesson worth sharing is experience from the site investigation. First, extensive survey and research were carried out to select representative pilot counties. Every time a meeting was held in a county, more than a dozen relevant departments attended and provided valuable inputs. Second, a study trip was made to three countries, Germany, Hungary, and Poland. After the trip, we prepared a study report that was very well received. The secretary of the provincial party committee requested that we sent the report to all cities and counties in the province for their reference. The municipals of Nanchang and Ganzhou even asked their staff to study the report at their leaders' meeting. At the end, findings from the study report provided valuable inputs to the TA final report and our provincial 14th five-year plans. Through the TA, we were able to establish an international cooperation and exchange of experience on elderly care programs with Chiba University. This ensured the high quality of project implementation. 
We built on the resource capacity and capability of major hospitals. Trainings provided by the TA further increase the capacity of trainers and nurses in geriatric care delivery. More broadly, they strengthen the geriatric nursing care pool for Liaoning province. In the trainings, the expert team not only taught but also learned much from the exchanges. We learned on how to care for the elderly and enjoyed our shared experience. We felt extremely happy and touched. We look forward to further cooperation with ADB in the field of elderly care. All right. So talking about the um, best TA awards today, I understand there are, there, there are many categories. Uh, could you tell us uh, what, would, what are the common good qualities of, of this TA, best TA awards that you have given today? Yes, so it was very interesting. So we, we asked the EAs that won the awards to share their experiences. And in very few minutes, uh, each EA gave a very valuable advice that can be used to better plan for the future. And so I, 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 I was listening very carefully and I came out with five common um, aspects of successful TAs. First is that uh, the TA responded to critical development challenges with innovative approaches sure. and yes. often you know, piloting this, sure, these approaches. Sure. The second one was partnerships. Right. Partnerships are critical. Mm -hmm. And partnerships uh, between what? You know, between uh, different, uh, different people, uh, um, uh, national, international sure. uh, experts, sure. between the central and sure. the uh, local governments, mm -hmm. and also between ministries and other departments within sure. the administration. Sure. So this uh, really um, stressed, was stressed by several of the EAs, of the successful TAs. Uh, the third point was about teamwork and open communications. All the awardees sure. mentioned that there was a, a frequent exchange right. of uh, views, uh, seminars, workshops to really share information. And also uh, the fourth point would be that um, the, TA, the successful TA made a special effort for the dissemination of the results. So it's, the dissemination plan is critical in every TA, and it doesn't happen if you don't plan for it. And my fifth point and last point is about measuring the impact. This is also another aspect for a successful TAs. So thank you very much. Thank you, Mazia. We hope You're to welcome. see you again next time. Thank you for the question.